I've been on Redbubble for round about a month now, and things are slowly starting to pick up. So what I'm going to do in this video is share with you all of my traffic, which you can see just here, share my sales as well, along with the strategy that I'm actually using with Redbubble. I started Redbubble round about the 14th of February, so it's been just round about a month. And as you can see from my traffic, things are slowly starting to pick up. Now it was a little slow in the beginning with some days with no traffic, but then as the weeks have gone by, my traffic kind of exploded a little bit round about here. So I've started getting a lot more organic, a lot more Redbubble visits, and others as well. Now my goal with this is to really increase my organic traffic. And my organic traffic will be coming from search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Now I have also made sales as well. So if we come over to here, these are the sales which I've made. Now it's only been two, but considering this is my first month, I'm extremely happy with this because realistically, I didn't expect to make any sales whatsoever for at least two to three months. So to get two sales in my first month is a really good sign to me. Now I actually made my first sale round about here. This was round about two weeks after I opened my store. And then my second sale was a few days back, a couple of weeks after my first sale. So this one was for selling a t-shirt and I made three pound and seven pence. And my second sale is one pound 38 where I sold a mug. So as you can see, things are actually going fairly good for me. But again, I really want this organic traffic here to increase even more. Now, the way that I'm doing this all comes down to my strategy. Now, most people are relying on Redbubble traffic, but my strategy, the way that I'm finding niches, low competition niches at that, is by using Google and finding low competition niches. Now, there's actually thousands and thousands of these niches. Now, I did also make a video about this a while back, and what I'll do is link that video down in the description because there's so many niches out there which are low competition and what people are actually searching for on Google. So here's a couple just here. One of them is life is hard, get more cats. This is a quote which quite a lot of people are searching for every single month. We can see there's 10 to 100 monthly searches. Then this one below it is, I became a teacher for the money and fame. If we look next to it, there's roughly around 100 to 1,000 monthly searches. Now, if we come over to Google and type that in, life is hard, get more cats shirt, we can see Redbubble shows up a lot. Here's Redbubble, here's Redbubble again, here's Redbubble again, and again. So one of the reasons why I'm really liking Redbubble is because they seem to hold a lot of weight when it comes to ranking in Google. Now, I know this because the amount of research that I've actually personally done, and eight to nine times out of 10, Redbubble shows up on the first page of Google for the niches that I'm researching. So this is why I'm really loving Redbubble, because it seems a lot easier to rank in Google than most of the other platforms. Now, with this quote, this is life is hard, get more cats, if we actually come over to Redbubble, we can see there's only five results for this niche, which is really, really low competition. And again, if we come over to here, there's 10 to 100 monthly searches. Now, the other one is, I became a teacher for the money and the fame. So if we come over to Google just here, we can see Redbubble here. If we scroll down again, there's Redbubble here. There's Redbubble here as well, here as well, and also Spreadshirt. Now, if you start doing research like this, you are actually going to see there's a few other print-on-demand websites that shows up quite a lot as well. But nonetheless, if we come over to Redbubble, we can see 
for I became a teacher for the money and the fame, there's 484 results. So this is actually low competition as well. And with this one, there is roughly 100 to 1,000 monthly searches. And believe it or not, there's thousands and thousands of these type of quotes, low competition as well, which so many people are searching for on Google. So my whole strategy is doing my research on Google, finding loads of these low competition niches, and then creating products around that with the hope in ranking in Google over time. And again, as we can see, my organic traffic is slowly getting better. In fact, all of my traffic is. So it come back to here, it was around about the 7th of March is when my traffic had that little explosion. So I went from having less than 10 views a day across the board to my highest day being 35 views in one day, with 15 of that being organic. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and that is, I am uploading new designs every single day. So what I like to do is do a bunch of research over on Google, finding all these niches, putting them into a spreadsheet, then every day I actually have a whole list which I can just go into and start creating those designs. So through this whole month, which I've been on Redbubble, I have actually been uploading every single day. Now, a couple of times I have actually reached my upload limit as well, which has been 30 designs in one day, but most of the time I'm actually uploading anywhere in between 10 to 20. And as you can see from my traffic, it's actually going extremely well. Now, how I do expect to my traffic to explode even more after around about the two to three month mark. So I'm going to consistently create designs and upload them every single day. Then hopefully Google, Bing or Yahoo will pick up my designs as well. Then in around three months, I think this traffic is really, really going to explode. Now, I could be wrong, I could be right, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But nonetheless, I'm just having fun creating designs and uploading them to Redbubble. And that's the whole thing about business. You want to do something that you enjoy and that you find fun. Because if you do that, then it never feels like you're actually working. Now, with that being said, that's everything which I wanted to share with you. I just wanted to share with you my results for my first month being on Redbubble and my sales as well. Because Redbubble, print on demand, this is something which I've been immersing myself with over the past month. And again, I'm having so much fun researching, creating designs, and just immersing myself with Redbubble. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.